Sandokan has accepted the mission put on him by the Blue Monks and goes in search of Nandaka, the Invincible Sword. In order to do this, he must leave the comfort of his kingdom and the fellowship of his friends. <laughs> the impenetrable ones are still alive, Great Mother. We shall take care of them in due time. Now you have a mission to complete. You must reassemble Nandaka, the Invincible Sword. <laughs> Tavoy, the kingdom of Anamabas. That's where we'll find the first part of Nandaka. Okay, little buddy. I follow you so far, but uh, where to after that? Then, it's off to Nantang, the capital of the Chinese Empire. So a bunch of Chinese monks have another part of the sword of Nandaka. That leaves us with magical weapon number two. And finally, Delhi and the Grand Palace of Krishnaya. It wouldn't surprise me to learn the flawless sword was guarded by the prince himself. Exactly. And on every custodian's weapon is a map that points out the secret location of the next part. The pieces of Nandaka were hidden away many years ago. It's possible that the three custodians are dead, no? Yes, but it's very possible that they left their weapon to an heir, as my father did to me. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! I'm very sorry, Mariana, but I'm going alone this time and I'm afraid that's final. You have got to be kidding! No, Yanez. I'm dead serious. But we've always worked as a team. Not this time. This time I go alone. But why can't we come with you? Because I'm the only one immune to the demon's attacks. If it took possession of you as it did with Kondo and the monk, I would be forced to kill you, or you would be forced to kill me. That's why. Looks to me like we don't have much chance of changing his mind. <clears throat> okay, who's down there? Even the rats are jumping hmm? ship! Ha! <laughs> yeah, I figured I could at least help you get the ship ready. Funny, somehow I thought you'd still be sleeping. There'll be plenty of time for me to goof off while you're gone. And Morugan? That girl was up at the crack of dawn. She stole everything there but the kitchen sink and was on her way. A tiger can lose its fur, but not its stripes. <laughs> Looks like it's time for me to set sail. Okay. Are you sure you want to go alone? Yes, and I'm trusting you to take care of Mariana. Please guard her with your life. I'm gonna miss mm. you, buddy. <laughs> now don't start going all soft on me. Devil could die in this heat. Hey, little rat, decided to stay aboard, did you? Huh? Who are you calling a rat? Morugan! Don't be so surprised, Tiger. I've decided to be your partner on this little adventure. I don't have partners. This is my boat, and you're going ashore at the first port. Forget it, pal. I have a score to settle with that green demon. I need to avenge Kondo. <laughs> I don't think you have a clue about what's going on, girl. I know more than you think, Raja of the Kilimawatsis. That green thingy can't hurt you, but it can't hurt me either. Fine, stay on till Tavoy. Hm. But on my conditions. And they are? First, I want this deck oh. to be spick and span. The laundry done each morning. And I take my coffee black with two sugars. Hm. And if you don't like it, then you can swim all the way back to Kilimawatsis. <gasps> oh, uh, big jerk! Oh! I'll get him. <laughs> so he thinks he's lost his confidence in me, has he? And he thinks I can't be as brave as he can? Hm. Well, you're wrong, Sandakon. I'll prove you wrong. Okay, you know what's funny? While Sandokan searches the seas for Nandaka, I'm stuck here in Kiltar with a chameleon, a tiger, and a little boy. Some terrific life I got. Direct hit! Ten points! Great. I'm the nanny. Don't you all make a charming huh? family? Huh? 
I'm sailing for Tavoy. If you need something, ask your nanny. Huh? <laughs> This deck is cleaner than a hen's tooth. Huh, maybe I misjudged her. Hmm? Dinner is served, noble Raja. <laughs> I hope you find all to your liking. Hey, you know, this smells really great. So what do you call it? It's my special marinated mackerel a la Marugan, with a splash of vinegar and special herbs and spices. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I need some water. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, great, more vinegar. <laughs> oh, poor Raja. Isn't it hard to find good help these days? Oh. <sighs> Trim those sails good and tight. Let's make the most of these headwinds. You got it, Captain. Uh, 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 uh. I just love a resourceful woman. Just look at the way she handles herself. Marugan's not so bad either. Too bad for you she's not here. Uh, she's only resourceful with other people's wallets. If you ask me, we're better off without her. Marugan has a not-so-secret admirer. I was only two years old when Kondo found me. It was a night just like this, on a ship much like this one. My parents and I were attacked by a ruthless gang of pirates. They set the ships on fire. And except for one lost soul, the passengers and crew were all killed. And Kondo was the one who saved me. He taught me many things. He was like a father to me. Kondo taught me everything I know about fighting, the art of the sword that he had learned from the samurai of the Kyoto, and the martial arts of the Shaolin priests. I wasn't always a great student, but he was a fine teacher. But the ignoble arts of the thief? Well, let's just say I picked that up along the way. <laughs> it looks like tonight dinner's on me. <laughs> the art of thievery. Wonderful education you got from Kondo. We can't all be the children of a Raja. It may come as a shock to you, but I lived on the streets when I was a young boy. But I've never stolen. And when I finally learned that I was the son of the Raja of Kiltar, my father had been dead for about ten years. Ah, but he left you a kingdom. Yes, a kingdom that I had to fight to reconquer and tear away from James Brooke, the Englishman who usurped my throne. At least you know who your parents were. All I know of my past is this. Kondo found this ring on me, and I believe it holds the secret to my past. That's why I want to help reassemble Nandaka, to receive its gift of knowledge and discover who I really am. You might discover it at the cost of your life, Morugan. This is not some kind of little game. Tomorrow you get off the ship at Rangoon. And then I set sail for Tavoy alone. Okay, so I make a lousy cook, but I know how to sail a boat. We can take turns. You can't stay at the wheel all night long. Can I trust you? Word of honor. <laughs> While the cat's away, the mouse will play. Chandra. Uh, Chandra! Sandakon! Sandakon! Huh? Uh, uh, I can't find Chandra! Uh, I'm afraid of fire! Uh, 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 uh. What the devil? Uh, uh. Morugan! Um, I think we ran aground. Ran aground? Huh? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Where are we? My guess is Tavoy. Tavoy? 
Is that what you learned from the great Kondo? To betray the trust of your friends? You better watch your mouth when you talk about Kondo. From here on in, I'm going my own way, and you better not follow me. I'm afraid I promise nothing to a woman of no honor. Take that back. By the sands of Makaron! Huh? Let's prepare a nice welcome for our guests. Now this is what I call a nice ship. It's nicer than your garbage scow hunk of junk. My junk averages 12 knots, and she doesn't run around the shoals like your little toy boat. Don't blame my ship, blame the helmsman. Why don't you draw a picture of me? It'll last longer. Hmm. Vandor! Huh? Ship ahoy! Raise the sails! Quickly! The pirates of Bandar! This time there's no escape! Turn hard to port! We'll fully engage the enemy! What about Rangoon, <laughs> Captain? We have to deliver the shipment of pearls! If we sail home with the head of Bandar and Arkadam, we'll shower us with gold! That shipment of pearls will just have to wait! Take a starboard! Let's give her a tickle! They're crossing our bow, Captain! Looks like a good day for someone to die! Man the cannons! Faster men! Get those guns into position and fire at my command! Oh, look! The dance has now begun! You're insane! You'll kill us all! Uh -huh. Fire! That's a nice kick you've got there, pal. Instead of staring at me, watch behind me. Uh, oh. <laughs> that was way more interesting than I could have been. <sighs> Laugh it up while you can, because they won't miss us the next time they shoot. <sighs> You're mine now. Ready the port side cannon. Cannons, Cannons of the, the ready, ready captain. captain. It's all over! Tired of these pirates. It's time to put a stop to this right now. If only there was a way for us to cut these ropes. Where there's a will, there's a way. <clears throat> you tell Narkadam that if he wants his precious pearls back, then he'll have to come pick them up personally. Okay, gentlemen, single file and no talking. <clears throat> Bandar, just kill me! I don't want to end up in the hands of Melissa! You know what that would mean! Hmm. You are lucky I'm not Narkadam. I don't kill in cold blood. Get all those barrels into the cargo hold and prepare to set sail! Accursed dog, you won't escape this time. I got him. Leave him be. The fleet of Narkadom. Cut the ropes and raise the sail. Quickly.
relatively did they go? What about that cave, Admiral? Does it look like a ship that size could fit in there? By the glittering sands of Makaran, I've never seen such a place. Why the smile? These caverns remind me of some place I was very happy once. Momprasum. So why did you save me, huh? It's something I would have done in my younger days. Back when I led my own band of pirates just to play cat and mouse with the English Navy. Had they wronged you? One of them killed my father in order to take away my kingdom. The new Raja of Tavoy is also a usurper. Narkodam? He and his mother Melissa murdered the true Raja. <laughs> Anambas is dead? Huh? Did you know him? No, not exactly, but my father did. Uh-oh. Impossible, that little squirt won hmm. again? Oh, oh. Another round and another win. Okay, this time make it double or nothing. You got it. Win with the lady, lose with the ace. Keep your eyes on the red or you might lose your head. Keep your eyes on the cards, boys. The lady plays hard to get. Oh. Where is she hiding now? Place your bets. Think you know where she is? Mm -hmm. Bet now. I was watching very closely, and the lady is right here. Oh! Keep your eyes on the red, or you might lose your head. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> I guess you lose. Oh, I know she did. You cheated. She did. I know she did. She did. She did. She did. Pleasure doing business with you, boys. Oh, oh, we'll get you. Come back here, triple or nothing. I'll take a rain check. I'm sorry, Sando Khan, but I can't allow you to leave. If you fall into Narkodom's hands, you could end up revealing my hideaway. You can trust me. Yeah, I know. But it's not a risk that I'm willing to take. You must stay with us. Sounds like a good idea to me. Huh? Huh? I was getting bored hanging around Mr. Goody Two-Shoes over here. What? I bet you're much more fun. Hey, wait. I thought you were his girl. Who, him? He's old enough to be my grandpa. Now tell me about you and your gang. Uh, I just love a take-charge kind of man who knows how to give uh, orders. They do anything you command. Am I right? Yes, of course. Anything I command. Oh! Then order uh, them to surrender your pirate ship to me, or I'll uh, cut your throat! Huh? I don't want to see any false moves now, or your pretty boy captain will have his head swinging from the bowsprit. Think about it, booty boy! Okay! Admit it, Tiger. You were all ready to just give up, weren't you? We can settle all our little differences later, Morugan. But let's get out of here now. Wind will be docking in Tavoy in no time. Yeah, but this time try to be more careful. I don't want us running aground again. I think I'm gonna be sick. Do you have any idea what awaits me? I'd rather be dead. Try to relax. Nobody has any intention of bringing you to Narkodam. Speak for yourself, Sandakan. It all depends on what Narkodam's prepared to give us for him. It's all just about the money for you. Ha! If it were up to me, Mr. Pirate here would be sitting on a scale so we could get paid his weight in gold. If that's all you want, I could get that easily for you. Narcodon would pay hmm. ten times my weight, just for my head. Then maybe we should fatten you up. <laughs> of course, I'm only kidding about turning you in. But the stone in your dagger must be worth a fortune. That stone belonged to a very brave man, who guarded it for a very long time. A custodian? What the? Huh? A sea! It's changing! <laughs> Look, the water's become quiet all of a sudden. Too quiet. <gasps> 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 well, 
Listen, guys, I think we're gonna need a bigger boat. The tsunami! Oh. The absolute terror of the sea! We'll be crushed! Man the oars! Hurry! Come on! Oh. No time to lose! Oh. It's useless, Sandokan! It's just too big! So you're alive, are you, girl? In that case, I feel very sorry for you. We made it! I can see Tavoy from here! Do you think Sandicon will be angry? I'm thinking maybe all the sunshine's gone to your head. Try to be serious, Yanez. Try to relax, Mariana. When he sees you, he'll be the happiest man in the whole world. But I wonder where he is right now. <laughs> 